This is now our second video looking at the area bounded by polar curves. We're asked to find the area of the finite region bounded by the curve with a given polar equation and the half lines theta is equal to alpha and theta is equal to beta. So we've got r is equal to a multiplied by 1 plus sine theta, alpha is negative pi by 2, beta is pi by 2. Okay, we'll do this. You might, and this isn't uh, mandatory as such, you might want to sketch this up. Okay, it might help you sketching it up. It certainly will on uh, more problematic ones. So let's just think about our, our uh, sort of main points here. What we'll do now is take, and we can just sketch it here. If we think about the sine curve and we go from 0 to 2 pi, sine of 0 is going to end up giving me 0. So this point right here, I'm going to have a multiplied by 1 plus 0, which is just going to give me a. So this point right here is going to be a. And we looked at this when we were sketching curves. If we now look at the point pi by 2 on the sine curve, pi by 2 is going to be 1. So what we're going to get then, sine of pi by 2 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, and we're going to get 2a. So that point's going to be just here. If we then go to pi, which is just here, again, we know that's going to be 0, and we've got here, 1 plus 0 is 1, so we end up with a. And you can see that we are symmetric about the y-axis as we're dealing with a sine function. Okay, next one, if we take 3 pi by 2, if we think a sine of 3 pi by 2, it's, it's minus 1. So sine of 3, by, uh, 3 pi by 2 is minus 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. So this point right here is going to be 0. So if we sketch this up, it's going to look something like so. Give or take, and this isn't a hugely accurate drawing. So what we're interested in then is from alpha is negative pi by 2 to beta, which is pi by 2. And that's all of this bit right here. So we're interested in this right here. And again, being symmetric about the, the y-axis meant that if we wanted the whole thing, we could simply evaluate from negative uh, pi by 2 to positive pi by 2 and double it up. So that's what we're looking for. And as stated, understanding that would be cool, but it's not mandatory. So let's look at our formula. To find the area, what we need is one half the integral from alpha to beta of r squared d theta. Okay, and that's what we're going to look at. So in this particular one, what we're after then is one half the integral from alpha, which is minus pi by 2, to beta, which is positive pi by 2, of a squared 1 plus sine all squared. So we get a squared 1 plus sine theta all squared. The um, main errors being made are people not squaring that value and we're integrating that with respect to theta. I always bring the constants for the other side of the integral sign. a squared is a constant so we've got a squared over 2 and now we're looking for the integral from negative pi by 2 to positive pi by 2 and if we expand this out we can have 1 plus 2 sine theta plus sine squared theta and we're integrating with respect to theta. Let's just deal with the sine squared theta. Uh, we don't really want to be trying to integrate that in that form so what we can write is cos 2 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. Rearranging 2 sine squared theta will be equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta and then sine squared theta will be equal to 1 half the quantity 1 minus cos 2 theta. So if we sub that in now, and I like to sub this in, uh, I'm going to sort of jump uh, a step ahead. I like to sub in this, but I like to add the half to the 1 just here. So what we can now write is a squared over 2, the integral from negative pi by 2 to pi by 2. And what we're going to have then is 1 plus a half, which is going to give me 3 over 2, plus 2 sine theta and then what we're going to have now is minus one half cos two theta so minus one half cos two theta and we're integrating with respect to theta you don't have to do that you can sub it straight in and then collect it up at the end i would just prefer to leave a line out and appreciate that if i've got one here and a half there i've got three over two so there we go that's what we do so now what we need to do is simply evaluate this. So uh, we need to integrate and evaluate. So we're going to go from negative pi by 2 to pi by 2. And if I integrate 3 over 2 with respect to theta, I will get now 3 over 2 theta. 
integrating minus, uh, positive 2 sin theta will give me minus 2 uh, cos theta. Integrating minus 1 over 2 cos 2 theta will give me minus 1 over 4 sine 2 theta. Okay, and that's what we need to evaluate. So let's let's do that then. So a squared over 2. Then if we start off with the upper uh, one, we're going to have now um, 3 over 2 multiplied by pi by 2. Then if we think about the cosine, now cosine of pi by 2 is naught. Draw a little graph if you need to. We know that that value is going to be naught, so I'm going to get plus naught. And then the sine of 2 theta, when theta is pi by 2. Again, thinking about sine, but sine of pi is going to give us naught, so we've got plus naught. Now we need to subtract away, and we'll evaluate uh, the alpha down here. So this is going to give us minus, we're going to end up with now 3 over 2, and then minus pi by, uh, pi by 2. And then the other two, if we consider... Cosine of minus pi by 2, again, naught. So this one's naught. And then the other one is going to give us also sine of minus pi is going to give us naught. So we've got another naught. And hopefully I've not gone too far off the screen. So what have we left with? We've got here uh, 3 pi by 4, minus minus 3 pi by 4, which is plus 3 pi by 4. And all we need to do is multiply all of that by a squared over 2. So what we're going to end up with, that's going to give me uh, 3a squared pi or 3 pi a squared over 4 in total. So that's our final answer. And remember, this is units. Uh, that does look like units, doesn't it? Units squared. So adding most together gives us 3 pi by 2. a squared over 2 multiplied by 3 pi by 2 will give us 3 a squared pi by 4 units squared. So there we go. Nice and logical. Um, it's just all loads of stuff that we've done put together and then we can see what we've got here.